You devote an entire chapter to Benjamin Franklin. Was he really that important to the understanding of electricity? Most people know Franklin the printer and later the politician. But he was also a remarkable and very important scientist. In fact, it was his work in electricity that made him famous. He started his experiments when he was 40 years old with three friends, a silversmith, a lawyer, and an unemployed uh, preacher. They were not exactly qualified scientists, nor was America the place where you would expect research to be done in 1746. But with the help of a correspondent in London, uh, they acquired some books, journals, glass tubes, uh, and set out to investigate. Uh, their experiments were very cleverly designed. For example, two of them stood on stands insulated by wax, while the third one stood on the ground. One of the men on the stands rubbed a glass tube and the other one held his knuckle to it and received a strong shock. Then when the third man standing on the ground touched either one of the men on the stands, he received a milder shock. From this they concluded that each man on the stand carried an equal charge. The original charge had been divided by two. And they performed a number of such experiments contributing significantly to the understanding of electricity. Franklin's best known experiment is the one with the kite and the key. He only suggested it in one of the letters uh, to his correspondent because he knew he was dangerous. What he suggested was to erect an insulated tall pointed rod, a lightning rod, and during a storm one could collect plain ordinary electricity at the bottom of the ro rod, proving that lightning is electricity too. The correspondent in London had all of Franklin's letters printed in a book entitled uh, Experiments and Observations on Electricity Made at Philadelphia in America by Benjamin Franklin. The experiment was first performed in France uh, by the scientists Buffon and Dalibar. Well, they didn't exactly perform the experiment themselves. They hired an old dragoon to stand in the sentry box uh, during a storm. Uh, and sure enough, there were sparks aplenty uh, coming at the bottom of the, uh, the rod. The dragoon got frightened and ran to the village priest uh, who observed what was happening and notified Buffon and Dalibar. Then later, Franklin repeated the experiment with a kite and a key at the bottom of the string. It was still a dangerous experiment and he could easily have been killed. 